Well, we've worked on dozens of projects just like this, be they restorations or modifications. Most of the time, we've turned the wrenches ourselves, but this time we have an opportunity to work with the garage near Huntsville, Ontario. It's a part of the MBRP Corporation. Now, Ryan Wagg is gonna be our lead tech on this project, and by the time we get done, this truck will be literally as good as new. And that, to me, is the greatest thing you can do with a 10-year-old truck. You have to go a long way to find a better shop than the garage. In fact, several of us have said you'd have to go all the way to LA to find a pro shop just like this. Now they know what they're doing. They're putting together this truck and they've done several of them before. In fact, they've had many of their build vehicles at SEMA. The garage may be new, but MBRP has been doing this for a long time. It's not easy to find quality people like Ryan Wagg, but once you have him, you're going to keep him, and Martin Barkey definitely knows that. The Skyjacker system is meant to boost this truck up six inches, which makes no sense to me whatsoever, but the parts are heavy duty, and they definitely do the job. And Ryan Wagg has an opportunity to go through this entire truck and make sure that not only is it viable six inches higher, but it's also safe. And we did manage to catch a couple of things that we were able to fix. Now as the suspension goes together, we actually had to change one control arm to make sure that the bushings were right. Now in the old days we all used to change over to chrome diff covers, we thought it made us look hot and racy. In this case we're changing the diff cover to a PML piece. Now it's all aluminum and it's finned for cooling and it's also higher capacity than the original part that came from Dodge. And then once it gets bolted on, the garage only uses Royal Purple. Now Royal Purple is a synthetic fluid and they not only do diff oil, but they also do oil as well. Now watch as Ryan makes sure he gets some bite out of these bolts to make sure that he's got a good seal. That's the mark of an excellent mechanic. The axle goes down onto a block, specially built by Ryan, so that we can add these Skyjacker blocks under the leaf springs. Now they're fairly easy to install, but you don't want to do this in your driveway. You definitely need a pro to make exactly sure that you've got everything going for you that you need to. Now the whole idea is to raise this truck six inches, and to get that done, we need these blocks, and it takes a couple of hands to do it. Once the Skyjacker pieces are done, now we have to go to wheels and tires. We've already mounted one up to show you, but these BMF wheels are 20 inches in diameter. And we've also gone to Toyo Tires Canada to come up with a very, very off-road type tire can't do this by yourself either. It's definitely a two-man job. And when it comes off the balancer, what you end up with is a wheel that looks good in a six-inch raised chassis. And chrome makes so much more sense to me than blacked out wheels because chrome is hard as nails. And if Colin goes off-road in this vehicle, he's going to want to clean it up and it'll clean up beautifully as long as you run chrome. So once the wheels are on, we've checked the brakes, we've checked the suspension, we've made darn sure that everything on this vehicle is safe, and when we come back next week, we'll continue the build on this 2002 Dodge truck at the garage in Huntsville, Ontario, Canada.